All right. What is up, my friends? Good morning. Good morning. Here we are on the eve of Pro Tour, I mean, Mythic Championship, Embercleave. That's right. I think Embercleave is going to have a pretty good weekend. We've been playing some of the decks from, uh, from Mythic Championship 5 coming up this weekend, of course. We've played uh, Ken Yukihiro's Dino Blade deck. I refer to it as Dino Blade. Jim B. Sellout, Jim B. Sellout, Jim B. Sellout. Mig, resub, two months. That's month number two, my friend. That's the important one. Thanks for coming back, Mig. Love those rats, too. So we played uh, Ken Yukihiro's Embercleave Rotting Reach Store deck. We played Pete Torgowalski's Golgari Adventure deck. And uh, we played Reed Duke's Civic Food deck. All these are up, up, up my YouTube. You missed them. That was uh, two days ago. And uh, we also played the Golos deck. Boo, boring Golos. Today we got a few more decks to play, and we got we're gonna start off with Javier Dominguez's Gruel Aggro. That's right, Ember has been the talk of the uh, talk of the town. Uh, seeing play in this deck, um, seeing play in Caleb's uh, Jund version of his deck, seeing play in Mardu Knights, seeing play in Ken Yuka Heroes more combo oriented Mardu Knights. Uh, this card is a very powerful card. It's also quite good against uh, the Golos decks. Um, because Spot Removal and Teferi are both not very good against Golos. Therefore, they've kind of fallen out of favor in the format a little bit. And Embercleave is real punishing. This is a 6 mana, 6 mana, legendary equipment. It's got Flash. Cost 1 less for each attacking creature. So you hopefully it costs like 3, maybe 4 mana. Comes into play, you attach it immediately. Cup creature gets plus one, plus one, and double strike, and trample. That's a lot of damage. You put this on a beef stick. You put it on a, on a four power creature, that's ten damage. That's a lot. And there are a couple other uh, little extra bonuses we can get here too. So Questioning Beast, of course, one of the best cards in the format. It's got Death Touch. Death Touch and Trample. They work real well together. So Trample, the official rules on Trample, for those who don't know, are the Trample creature must deal new sub, Cole, what's your name, where are you from, welcome my friend, happy to have you. The, the rules on Trample are, you must deal lethal damage to the creature that is blocking, the rest of the damage goes over. So, normally if a 2-2 blocks Questing Beast, it takes 2 and they take 2 Trample, right? Well, with Death Touch... You only have to deal one damage, and they're all the rest of the damage goes over. So if with Embercleave, we have a 5-5 five, five, double strike, death touch, trample, they block with a one, or they block, they block with a 10-10, ten, ten, and one death touch damage kills it. The remaining nine goes to the uh, goes to the player, which is pretty good. Pizza, one year resub. That's awesome, pizza. How's it going, Jim? I love pizza. Pizza's delicious. Thank you, pizza. <laughs> one year hype and chat for pizza. And um, yeah, there's there's definitely uh you know, a, a war a, a war and peace level of text on Embercleave and uh, and Questing Beast, for sure. But otherwise, we got a pretty regular-looking Gruul deck here. Uh, Pell Collector and Zeta Goblin. Playing Paradise Druid because the mana's not very good, I assume. Uh, a couple Harpooners. Bone Crusher Giant, phenomenal on this deck. Uh, Gruul Spellbreaker, phenomenal. Spellbreaker also plays really, really well with Embercleave. Because if you go for the Embercleave kill on a Spellbreaker... It's got hexproof. Sorry, can't do nothing about it. Um, we also have a little more combo, comboy stuff here too with Collision Colossus. So now we can Colossus up our Embercleave creature, and we're starting to get the numbers that I can't even, uh, I can't even add up to. Hellkite's got haste, really good. Those are the lands. Uh, mana base and two color decks is not great, but. Cyborg's got, you know, usual cyborg cards, Ray Cat Millie, Shock, Veil of Summer. Dahmer's ambushes in the cyborg. This might just be an element of um, Golos being the most popular deck. We saw in Reed Duke's food deck how Reed was playing four main deck disdainful stroke, and his voracious hydras were in the cyborg, whereas usually you'd see that flopped. Same thing here, I'm assuming. Uh, Javier is basically just pre boarding for Golos decks because Golos decks are 40% of the field. Yeah, I know. I know, it's not great. So, uh, some Love Struck Beasts in the board. I assume this is for the Mirror. And uh, Thrashy Brontodon. One Shifting Ceratops. And uh, 
Yeah, no, 40% of the field of the dead, right? Right? Yeah. So, let's go. We're going to play five matches here. And uh, let's get out, of, get out of gold, please. I actually played, I was at like, you know, gold uh, in gold in four notches. So, one more win, and I level up. And I played a match off stream. And I played against the dredge deck that I played in my cool stuff inc.com video this week. Mono blue dredge. My opponent went, turn two discovery, bin two phoenixes, turn three, seek, merfolk secret keeper, merfolk secret keeper, opt, bidding another phoenix, attack with three phoenixes on turn three. I lost that game. Then in game two, I was like pretty far ahead on turn five and they had basically no graveyard. And in one turn, they brought back three phoenixes and triggered three creeping chills and just killed me. So, it's your usual uh, problems. I'm not a huge fan of Once Upon a Time in this deck, but it's cool. It's cool. Um, I think we're going to ship a land here, and we'll just Once Upon a Time for a land. We'll ship a goblin. Actually, you know we'll ship a goblin instead. I think it's better. Keep our lands. Try and find a, a, good, th a good threat with this. So, uh... I like this. So we're just... Actually, I'm sorry. We have one drops in our deck. This is not Golos. Once upon a time. There's our one drop. Alright, sweet. That is very, very nice. Pelt. Collector. Once upon a time. Wow. What a way to start a game. Love that flavor. Uh oh. A Boreal Grazer. Alright. Well, that means our, uh, our Zerta Goblin's gonna be a 3 3. Harpooner. That's interesting. And a Steam Vent. So they're playing the. Uh, they're, actually, they're not playing Golos. They're playing the uh, Jeff Hoagland Teamer Planeswalker deck. Um, we could just Harpooner. Because it's a three power creature and we can always haste this later. Or we can just riot. Either way, if they, if they play an Oko and make a 3 3, it's pretty damn annoying regardless. And Oko's so annoying. I'm just going to play the uh, Harpooner. Yeah, seriously. The Grazers have a trees, right? Why can't Harpooner hit it? Just chuck that Harpoon up in the air. No big deal. No big deal. Wes, yes. Cardboard Live is a new sponsor. God damn it. Turn to Oko. Cardboard Live is a new sponsor of a stream, and Cardboard Live is the real deal. Um, check out the overlay. It is super awesome. Okay, so now they have a 3-3. Three, three. Once upon a time. I guess we're going to play a Spellbreaker and just attack Oko. And just accept the fact that we're going to get something to die here. Um, yeah, Cardboard Live is awesome. Super cool overlay. They're still in beta, but there's a lot of cool stuff coming. We could just attack... No, nah, we got to attack Oko, I think. All we have is 3-3s, three so like an infinite share of 3-3s three was going to stop our 3-3s three pretty good. Morning, Doctor. Morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did some work on the new stream computer last night. It's coming along pretty well. It's a lot of work. I am basically rebuilding the entire stream. And uh, it's looking pretty cool so far, I'm not going to lie. Once Upon a Time for 2 mana on turn 3. Not as good as Once Upon a Time for... Ah, oh, damn it. I forgot my predictions. I did my predictions article uh, for the Pro Tour... Uh, goes up today on Cool Stuff Inc. And I forgot one of my predictions that I was going to do. And I did a different one. One of my predictions was going to be that nobody knows the right number of Once Upon a Times to play. And there was going to be multiple decks in top 8 with 2, 3, and 4 copies. Questing Beast. I forgot that one though. So, Alright. Pelt Collector and Gooblin. Unfortunately, nothing beats uh, Questing Beast in combat. But I guess that's just the life we live. 
So we just haste here. Just get the, get the two damage in. I think we do actually. Yes. Before the I so for every pro tour, for those that don't know, I do a pro tour or I guess mythic championship, put plenty of jar uh, predictions article where I go over my predictions for the mythic championship. And that article goes up on Thursday. Because my usual article is on Friday, but the Mythic Championship starts on Friday. So if I put it up on Friday, then the uh, then the uh, the article would go up after the Mythic Championship starts. Not a good time to make predictions, you know? Not a good time to make predictions. I think that the Pretty Lights, Risa, I think the correlation is you just don't want to, you don't often want to cast Once Upon a Time. Especially in a deck like our deck or our opponent's deck. We don't want to cast him in an impulse. In Golos, hard casting once upon a time is actually really good. But in a deck like this, you don't really want to hard cast it. So it comes down to basically, do I want to hard cast this card, yes or no? And I think if you don't, you want to play less copies. You want to have the first copy be free and nothing else. Uh, I guess we're just going for it, right? They're taking a lot of damage here. They're taking 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. They're going to go to 3. So I'm not, I'm not sure what the correct number is. Again, I think that it's skewed a bit because it's definitely a 4 of a Golos because it just finds your Golos or finds your Field of the Dead, which is exactly what you want. But uh, in decks like this, where you don't necessarily want to cast it, could be 2, could be 3. Not really sure. So I, I meant to make that prediction, I forgot. That's why you gotta write stuff down, folks. Uh, I don't think Royal Silence is very good here. What's Zibby up to? Hey Zibby, they blew up. He's wearing a hat. Burnsy used to wear hats all the time. You're a good Zibby. Zibby was helping me out last night. I was, I was working on my new computer. Check this out. Here's Zibby helping me out. See? He wants the help. He wants to help with the new computer. Zibby's good. Zibby's a really good hammy. Alright, so they're playing Teamer, like Planeswalkers and stuff. Um, Domery's Ambush seems really good. Collision Colossus. I think the Harpooners are going to go. Those don't seem very good. I definitely want the Domri's ambushes. I'm gonna shave a once upon a time. I guess I just don't really want to cast it. Um, I think I want the Collision Colossus. They don't really interact at instant speed super well. Don't want shock. I don't think I want shock. Uh, do I want Love Struck Beast? I don't think so. Seems more like a defensive card. I think this is fine, honestly. Shave once upon a time and two harpooners and play the Domri's ambushes. Ambush would be a really, really good instant. <laughs> like, really good. Okay. Um, well, we have once upon a time in our opener. This card's obviously always good in the opener. What's up, Pigs? Uh, not a fan of Embercleave? I don't recall really having a strong feeling on it either way. Um, I think it's very good for... I think it's very good for this particular Mythic Championship. Um, like, I think Ken Yuka Heroes deck might be the best deck in the room. And just it just a Embercleave deck. Through and through. Alright, one drop. We did it! Man, that's pretty nice. Once Upon a Time works. It does work really well. That's for sure. I think it's turn to Oko me again. I'll be mad. I'll be mad. Bet hamsters are mad tasty. We keep threatening Zibby that we're going to eat him. But I don't think he understands English, so... don't think he really knows. We always joke about, joke about how we're going to have uh, Zibby Diaz. Zibby Quesadillas. Or uh, Zibby Parm. What you got here? Onk! Onk! 
That Gilded Goose reminds me uh, that, is, that is not nearly as good as Oko. Zib, Zib and Chips. Nice. For all my UK folks. Well, I don't think Golos is going to do very well at the Mythic Championship. It'll, it'll do well, but not well relative to its presence in the field. Check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com today for my predictions on that. Um, I guess we just Paradise drew it here. Welcome to Paradise. Then we need to decide if we want to attack them or Royal Scions, because we can't allow Royal Scions to ultimate. But it is really... Uh, I guess the Questing Beast is going to nab it next turn, so it's fine. Is Goose worse than Lana Elves? Yeah, but that's a pretty pretty high bar. Lana Elves is, you know, the best card in standard usually when it's legal. Oh, Golos is definitely gonna be like two or three copies in top eight. My first prediction in my article is I think it's going to have a sub five hundred win, win percentage across the field. Across all the players that play the deck, it's going to have a sub 500 win, win percentage. It'll still do well because there's somebody. Just, it's obviously very, very good, and there's tons of players playing it. But people ain't showing up to this Mythic Championship to lose to Golos, you know. All right, this is kind of sketch here. Uh, this could be like an Aether Gust or uh, something like that. So I'm not super keen on just slamming my um, on slamming my Questing Beast here. Sub 50%, sub 500, like a batting average. 500, if you're batting 500, you're 50%. Alright, what are we doing here? I almost don't mind crushing the goose. I also just cast Bone Crusher Giant. That's interesting. Alright. We're gonna attack. Um I'm gonna show shock the Guild Goose. Let's see what they do next turn. My in the cool. They discarded an Aether Gust? That's interesting. Means that you're more likely to have it. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think Royal Scions is definitely only playable in a deck that's very aggressive. And giving a large creature, creature trample is pretty good. Um, definitely give it Regisaur. It's good, Bone Crusher Giant. I think this card's a lot better if you are giving the second ability, not just looting. I think the looting ability isn't worth a card. I think playing a Planeswalker if it just loots is like... It's okay, it's not, it's not, it's not worth your mana, you know. So next turn we have the option of like Questing Beasting. We could, uh, we could Bone Crusher and Shock something. Um... It's what, is it Drake's needed? I don't agree with that. Um, it's not a spell. Cost three mana. Doesn't affect the board. Lava Coil? Sure. And a shock, and go. Alright, so again, they're saying they have Aether Gust or some, something similar to that. Um, I think... Forest. They would play Spellbreaker. We can give it haste and see if they counter the Aether Gusts or not. Then we can just shock the Scions with the other Bone Crusher Giant. So they Aether Gust this. Yep. Not a problem. And then we're going to just Bone Crusher Giant the Scions because we can't have it ultimate. 
Uh, and yes, I'd like to have my spellbreaker on top. Either guys is certainly good. Certainly a good card. Wicked Wolf. That's kind of a tilt. That is kind of a tilt. Why does it act? Yeah, that's, that's probably better. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yes, that is better. Um, yeah, that makes more sense. Alright. Um, they're at 8. Now our mana's kind of awkward, and they have this Wicked Wolf. Yeah. Having a shock disarmament would have been a lot better. That was really stupid last round when I was thinking I'm half asleep. Um, I just block the beast of the wolf. Just play a giant, say go. Hmm. It was pretty annoying, honestly. Discard once upon a time, and they have a lava coil too. All right, that's not cool. Well, that was a good draw. Better lucky than good. It's kind of silly, but we're gonna we gotta attack the the scion so they can't just ultimate it and then kill my kill my dragon. So you know they're at six. Roman, help. Let me just kill him next turn. Oh, the third lava coil? That's brutal. Another spellbreaker? Alright, so. Requesting Beast just trades with the food. We're just gonna keep playing stuff and hopefully we draw a land next turn. We can double spellbreaker. Let me synthesize the fact. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely a concern that they're probably banning Field of the Dead on Monday. But Oko is just so absurd that it's probably just going to become Oko World post-banning, which is not necessarily better or worse, I guess, but... Um, I think we just block here. No. It doesn't really matter. Should I draw land? God, come on. Just draw land and they're dead. Um I'm just say go here. I'm not trading my two creatures for their requesting beast and a food. We also have Ember Cleave in our deck, so we have an incentive to want to keep uh, our stuff in play. Thanks, uh, Tara. Appreciate that. Yes, we just passed 2 million views here on Twitch, which is pretty freaking awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. Thanks, Rogue. Appreciate that. In the Royal Scions tank here. Uh, Rage Quit, I highly doubt that they're going to be uh, 
I'm doing it for Brawl. Alright, so they get to fight here, and then food. Doesn't change the fact that if I draw land, they're dead. So, because now it's tapped. Land, please. Domri's Ambush, that also plays. Uh, so now we just ambush, kill the Wicked Wolf. They go to two, and we have two hasters in play with Trample. Rogue says, do I want to try my hand at downing the Seth Manfield Menace? Yeah, get me in that tournament, please. I've already applied. I've already spoken to people about it. Get me in that freaking tournament, please. I will take Seth Manfield down. No problem. Honk. Honk. Land, please. All right, well, I believe they're dead. Actually, they're gonna ultimate their royal signs. Like, sorry, we don't kill them. And they can, uh, they cannot die here. This is pretty sick. We just need to draw a land for like the last hundred turns. So they can block with the goose, then gain life. Or I guess not even block with the goose. They can't uh, save their wolf though. It's the E-League tournament they run every Wednesday. It's like a King of the Hill kind of tournament. And Seth Manfield won the previous week and then ran the tables this week. And I'd very much like to play in that tournament, but I have not gotten in yet, so. All right, well, they can ultimate the Royal Scions because we failed to draw a land to kill them. We like to finish each other. Yeah, Rogue, if you know who I got a call, let me in that tournament, let me know. All right, Rodzilla, 10 month resub, welcome back. Gentlemen. This is pretty annoying. Questing beast. I mean, that just trades with the dragon, I guess, but that's probably just fine. Sakarath, our first honker of a stream. Sakarath has donated $25 to Extra Life, the initiative you can see on the bottom of the screen. We're raising money for children's hospitals and sick kids, and that's awesome. Raise some money and get honked at. Exclamation point, Goose and Chat to donate. I'm part of the uh, the Goosey gang. We're raising some money for kids. Yeah, it's, it's pretty sick that like for 10 turns, if we just drew a land, they were just dead. But... I guess if I hadn't screwed up the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant, we'd have won this game, so. so we, we shocked the Planeswalker for some reason, rather than just attacking, which is really stupid. So there, there's the two damage I need to win the game, which kind of sucks, but. Questing Beast, sure. Oko, sure. Yeah, I don't... Our window's certainly closing here. Now they can just food every turn and gain three life a turn. Actually, you're dead. You're dead. Better lucky than good. Listen to them roar. So right now this is lethal, so I'm gonna pass priority. And I remember the old X-Men arcade game? Colossus in it. And it went one up. So, I don't know why I shocked that Planeswalker, but we didn't get punished for it, so. 
We'll take it. We'll take it. 1-0 with Javier Dominguez's Gruel Aggro deck. Remember, so folks, Goosey Gang. Nox has put together a great squad. Myself, Merchant, Nox, Bloody, Voxy, and Ollie. We're all raising money as a team for Extra Life. And then uh, Magic as a whole is raising a bunch of money. And whatever team raises the most money gets to give away a bunch of codes to our stream for Arena and stuff. And uh, that's it. Goosey Gang. Simple as that. Raise some money. You can see the bar on the bottom of the screen. Exclamation point. Goose to donate. And uh, you get honked at when you donate. Simple as that. Look, once upon a time, again. Let's keep... Nightcrawler was good. I like Storm. Storm is my, my, my favorite member of the X-Men. What's up, Sophie? Think you just played against me? Uh, were you playing the Teamer Planeswalker deck and did I get really lucky? Because if so, that was you. <laughs> good games, my friend. The Goose Gang goes until uh, November, November, November 2nd, I believe. Sweet, Sophie. Good game. Uh, all right. It's probably we have a we have a two drop and a five drop, so if we're gonna fill a hole in the curve, it's probably questing beast. Temple of Triumph. All right, I mean, not the most exciting hand, but we drew our basics, so our mana actually works, which is kind of cool. Temple of Triumph probably means Jeskai Fires deck. So our hasters should be good. Three drop. No. No, no, no. The question is, do we get in with our harpooner here for a collision colossus? Imagine if they had shock. Please shock, please shock, please shock. Alright, we're gonna just gonna let this go through here. If I knew they couldn't cast any spells, I might take the four damage. But if it's ten percent chance they have shock, it's just not worth it. Goosey gang, 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 goosey gang. I haven't drawn an Ember Cleave yet, you know? We gotta get that cleave going. You have my sword. Yeah, let's just save my creature here. Alright. Not often you see a defensive Colossus, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Pell Collector. Awkward. Am I gonna quit magic to save rap? Nah. Nah. Well, I think they're screwed now because they can't wrath. Shockland? Bone Crusher Giant? Double Crush Skis? Alright. Um. Now we have a pretty interesting choice. We could put them to one. If they have a Wrath of God, things get really awkward. Um, but drawing back-to-back -back Pelt Collectors on turn four and five, not when you really want it. Not when you really want it. I think we're just going to ship here. Also possible if they have a Wrath, they have a Shock Land, and they can't shock it. But we shall see. What's up, Cab? Um, yeah, I, I'm still playing some tournaments. I announced in July I'm focusing more on streaming going forward. And uh, it's funny, actually, I'm not queued for the Invitational for the first time in about eight years. But I will be. Um, I have like eight points. Nicole and I are going to regionals this weekend. Um, there's a few IQs here and there. And then if I have to, I'll go to Atlanta to qualify. So I ain't missing no Invitationals, all right? I, I'm, I would like to talk to Nick Miller, so I'm pretty sure... No one has played as many Invitationals as me. Like, I actually haven't missed an Invitational in eight years. That's what got me... Well, Invitationals, Invitationals are what got me back into competitive magic. So, I'll be there. Don't worry about it. Uh, Mangorium, what's up? Good morning. Good morning, morning. I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's eight years exactly, but... Since there have been Invitationals, I don't think I've missed very many. Alright. Um, we definitely want... To cut the collision colossus. Cause it's not very good. 
Embercleave seems... I mean, they have Teferi in their deck, but Embercleave still seems pretty good. I want Ceratops. I kind of want Brontodons, because they play well, really well against uh, Deafening Clarion. Um, I kind of don't want these Harpooners. And then... Veil of Summer's not great. Domri's Ambush. They do have a lot of Planeswalkers, but... I don't think it's the fight I want to fight. Also, also Brontodon kills fires. LeBrontodon! James! I think they just leave the Harpooners. They're just early beaters that attack. Alright, let's try this. But yeah, so... Who's going to New Jersey Regionals this Saturday? Because Nicole and I will be there. We have drawn once once upon a time in actual every opening hand so far, which is uh, pretty fortunate. Is the eventual competitive goal to get back to the Players Championship? No, not at all. Uh, Players Championship is done for me. I don't have the time to go to every IQ within a thousand miles of here and play every open. It's just not worth it. Um, as I announced in my um. When I announce that I'm going to be streaming more, it's not great, but this is fine. I'm going to take the Questing Beast. We'll draw land at some point. Um, it's just, I can't split myself, you know? Um, for the last, like, two years, I tried to, like, do competitive tournament grind and stream. I was just doing bad at both. You know, like, it's just, unfortunately, it's just not worth it. Um... If I won the player championship again, that would be awesome. And that'd be great. It wouldn't change my life. When I won the first time, it changed my life, you know? Um, and if I ground if I ground all year, just grind, 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 and then I made the player championship and I came in fifth and I won a thousand dollars, that was like thirty thousand dollars in equity I could have spent just grinding all year. I mean I mean uh, streaming all year and stuff, making content. So I think it's just Questing Beast. So, unfortunately, my uh, my grindy days are over in that regard. I still love playing tournaments. I'm still going to play in tournaments, you know. But if I queue for a, a player championship, it'll be it'll be become it'll be it'll be because I won Invitational, not because I uh, I ground all year for it. You know, just the the reality of getting older, focusing more on you know my career, which is streaming stuff. And then I want to buy a house, have a kid, so just more responsible. Um, I, mean, I don't really want to get uh, Wrathed. And they also have these Bone Crusher Giants to play, too. Bone Crusher blocks Questing Beast pretty well. Kind of an awkward spot, honestly. I think we just Questing Beast and attack, though. Uh, Hydra Grace is, is stupidly good. Um, I don't know if it's completely bannable, but it is certainly a very, very good card. Wrong Cloak Giant, sure. This game is getting harder. That wasn't a bad draw. A little hasty. A little hasty tasty. Yeah, I mean, Nicole and I want to have a kid. We already have a kid, you know. I don't really want to have a puppy, but it might be on the agenda, and they're just dead. This is, uh, interesting. I think the Planeswalker version of his deck is much better than the Cavalier version. You are dead. I hate to tell you, but you are dead. Haste. Two and oh. Javier Dominguez's Gruel Aggro deck, but we haven't drawn Embercleave yet. This is an Embercleave stream, god damn it.
Wait, Amber, Amber Cleave, please? If you're sitting in, welcome to the stream. I want to remind you that this stream is brought to you by Coalesce Apparel and Design. Coalesce Apparel and Design. Awesome, awesome Magic the Gathering shirts. Uh, super comfortable, super fun designs. And when I say comfortable, they're really, really comfortable. They have a new design, too. Who wants to see your new design? Raise your hand in chat if you play Commander. Raise your hand in chat if you play Commander. Because their new design is for you. If I can find it. Check it. Keep it at 100 for all you Commander players out there. Coalesce, new shirt, coalesceapparel.shop, go get it. Promo code Jim10. Check it out. Keep it at 100 for all my Commander players out there. All right. Uh, wow. It's kind of weird that we have Once Upon a Time in our opening hand again. Keeping it 100. A hoodie with that? Uh, check the website. I don't think they have a hoodie yet. How does the SCG Tour work? Um, I. It's a tournament series. Look, go to StarCityGames.com. There's a whole page about it. I can't explain the whole tour. Um, or it's a tournament series. They have stops every every other weekend. You have money. Call it, qualify for things. Go to StarCityGames.com and they got a whole uh, whole page about it. One drop. Nice. Pelt Collector. Guess we Paradise Druid next turn. Yeah, the Wooberg shirt's super nice. Welcome to Paradise, Bone Crusher Giant. So, will we trade our Pelt Collector for their Paradise Druid? Yeah, I think so. Block skis? No. Love it. Love to see it. What do you got for me? That's so important that you couldn't, uh, couldn't block there. When's the best time to Once Upon a Time? The moment before you want to cast your first spell. Or, if there's a spell on your deck that you can cast. So for example, Golos often casts this card on turn 3, because they don't do anything in the first few turns. Uh, this deck wants to cast it on turn 1 every time, because we have a 1 drop in our deck. So, it's the, at the first time, you could make a relevant play. Love Struck Beast, make a 1-1. One, one. Questing Beast, smash your face. Yeah, that card wasn't there beforehand. Let's say I didn't want to trade. Good idea to attack with a 1-1, one, one, so your opponent's more likely to not block. Um, yeah, maybe. With, with, the, with the collision glasses in our hand, there are a lot of options that turn. You can, like, attack for 1, pump... You can not attack, you can pump it, not attack, you can do a lot of stuff. Edge wall innkeeper, that's pretty good. Alright, so they get to play a big dumb idiot. Uh, we get to Colossus down their Love Struck Beast and Bone Crusher Giant their innkeeper. Love it. Love it. I don't have water. Oh my god, I don't have a water. Love Struck Beast again? Mm. Questing Beast, say hey oh hey oh. Oh, Questing Beast. Questing Beast, say hey oh hey oh. And you can see the old Death Touch Trample combo, as I, as I said earlier. Only one damage to the blocker, the rest all goes to the face. Not a bad swing. Not a bad swing. Where's my, uh... Where's my Ember Cleave at? Want to buy one Ember Cleave. Another 5-5? Five, five, sure. 
Sure. Gruel Spellbreaker. Sure. Um, I think I want to go wide here. We could just trade Questing Beast for Lovestruck Beast, but that's like not great. We're just going to play a 3-3 three, three and a Bone Grocer Giant, I think. Yeah, pretty cool with that. It's not if they had fine finality, but... Had only one damage to go to the beast, so I explained this earlier, if you're just sitting in, welcome. Uh, the way Death Touch and Trample works is really, really cool. Trample says you have to assign lethal damage to the creature, and the rest spills over. Well, Death Touch, one damage is lethal, so that's all you need to do. That's all you need to do. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, hey yo, hey yo. We got some boom booms here. Can I get a little, a little, uh, a little vibe for Embercleave in chat, please? Can we, can we summon an Embercleave? Can you put in your, uh, is there a cool sword emote? Let's see, is there a generic sword emote that everyone has? Um. All right, well, it's not quite a sword. Everyone put your little, uh, the little bacon cross or pepperoni cross in chat. Let's try and summon an ember cleave here. Everyone put your R.I. pepperonis in chat, even though it's, I don't see how that's pepperoni. But, Infinite has a pretty cool sword. Put your pepperonis in chat. Oh my god, they have finality. Oh no. All right. I did say that was a problem if they had that. I think we're all right, though. I think we're all right. Now they have a 7-7 seven, seven blocker, too. Well, it's a good thing your summons didn't work, because uh, Embercleave is pretty bad right now. I guess it's still good, actually. Just put on the Spellbreaker, but... All right. Um... No, it can't... It, it can block. This thing can always block. The condition on Lovestruck Beast is that it can't attack. Let's see if it won one. It always blocks, so that's why it's good. Yeah, it's a big, big wall. Big wall. Welcome to paradise. Alright, we'll see you can play off the top better, you know? Damn. Uh, yeah. Dargon. Dargon. Scargon was a man. Uh, no, he's a he was a dragon man. Scargon. Scargon. Scargon was a man. Burninating, Mr. C. Alright, can they draw... Assassin's Trophy, I guess? That's the only card that costs two that saves them. Because the order cannot block either. You're dead. I said consummate fees! All right, um, so what do we want here? Uh, Harpooner is really bad. Definitely like shaving a once upon a time or two. Uh, definitely want the Dombers ambushes. Those seem really good. Uh, I think the shocks are also kind of important. The ability to kill kill the uh, the innkeeper seems pretty important. We do have four Bone Crusher Giants. Um... Thanks for following, everyone. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button, of course. Watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. And like, and subscribe. Hit all those buttons. Just hit, if you see a button on your screen, just hit it. Um, Collision Colossus, like, they do have some instant speed removal. Maybe we aren't, we are a little little down on Collision Colossus. Maybe we'll like, leave in one Miser's copy, bringing two shocks. And then Bale of Summer is kind of cute. But not great. Um... We got our own love struck beasts? I don't think so. I think that's more for just like aggro decks. Red cap melee. I don't know about that. Alright, this is fine. Let's try this. 
Mr. Beard Smith. Sarkin was a man. No, he was a he was a dragon man. And a strong bad and emails. Mr. Cena, you're going down. You're going down. Tectonic Rift, yeah, that's a pretty cool sideboard card. Thank you. Summon Embercleave. Let's do it. Those are cool swords. RPG Epic Sword? I think RPG Epic Sword is our uh, is our is our path. So next time you want to summon a Embercleave, everyone's gonna put RPG Epic Sword in the chat. Oh wait, oh is that is that a, is that a sub mode? Hold on. No, that's not it. That's a sub mode. I'm sorry. I th RPG sounds so generic. I thought that was a an, an open ended Twitch emote, but it's not for everyone. I apologize. It's unlocked by someone cheering. RPG Epic Staff. I don't know how these things work. One drop. We drew a one drop. We did it. Yo, Bone Crusher Giant's so good. It's actually unreal how good Bone Crusher Giant is. What do they got here? They had no one drop or two drop? That's wild. I think is that like Questing Beast is also their one drop, even as a three drop. Well, don't summon Ember Cleave yet. We're not there yet. We need a few more creatures to play and stuff. We do have a nice curve here though. It's like Shock, Bone Crusher, Questing Beast. Foulmire Knight. Oh, and no land? Get out of town, opponent. Get out of here. Don't you come at me with your no land, no stuff hand. Uh, Alright. Hellkite also drops the curve nicely. There's certainly a, there's certainly a lot of power in this deck, that's for sure. Uh, just a lot of individually powerful cards. Like these cards, uh these cards don't mess around, you know. Oh, they drew land. Uh oh. Rabbit chicken, six month resub, welcome back. Wow, that was, that was great for us. They took two damage to kill my creature, then took two damage from Murder Strider, then pump Pell Collector, and then, uh, take eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's up. Uh, I love how there were gruel decks people were playing that weren't playing this card. That's just silly. You can play Mirage Mountains, but the problem is you have to automatically add them to your deck every time you import a deck, and I just can't be bothered to do that. 3-0! This deck seems great. Finally. Moving on up. Oh my god, so much stuff. Corpse Knight and XP and Throne of Eldraine, oh my. Who wants to open a booster pack? This booster pack opening is brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. Whenever I play a paper tournament, I always play with BCW Supplies because they're the best. I've played them for the last four years. The Elite Two sleeves are phenomenal. Uh, I use I use the matte fronts. There are gloss fronts also. I like the matte fronts. If you like foils, though, gloss fronts better. Uh, deck lockers are insane. Um, their binders are phenomenal. Uh, check it out, bcwsupplies.com. Use promo code JIM10 for 10% off your order on bcwsupplies.com. No gems. Gems. It's gems. It's not purple, Gabu. It's mulberry. The in color of 2018. Mulberry. Love mul love the mulberries. We're three and zero so far with Javier Dominguez's Gruel Agro deck. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis, and uh, we're playing uh, some of the decks from Mythic Championship that starts tomorrow. We're playing the Ember Cleave decks. We're picking up our sword and we're just. We haven't actually drawn Ember Cleave yet, though. But um, I think Amber Cleave is going to have a breakout performance at the Pro Tour. Let's go. Wow, you once upon a time. That's kind of weird. All right, this hand needs once upon a time because we need a forest. We could brick here, but we're going to keep. If I win the Invitational, what would my token be? Obviously, food 
is a pretty uh, pretty clear uh, high choice contender. Uh, that sucks. We drew the. Uh, we hit the one drop, but we need we need the land. So uh, food token's pretty nice. Pretty nice. What's up, Mikey? A clue token? It's not bad. Token selection is a uh, is an interesting choice. It's funny I, as. As someone who's been in a number of Invitational Top 8s and been with people who've been in a number of Invitational Top 8s, um, that's been a, a dinnertime conversation very often, is what, what, what the uh, token should be. Obviously, um, Andrew, Andrew Jessup's Monarch token is like Tier 1. Um, I believe that was Ben Friedman's idea. Breeding Pool, Forest, Go. If you haven't seen Andrew's Monarch token, Andrew, of course, is a good friend of mine. Andrew's Monarch token is uh, perhaps one of the best tokens of all time. Uh, it's a really good one. Really, really good one. But, um, yeah, I believe that was a Ben Friedman idea. We were all at dinner at the Great Mexican Place next to our hotel. Because there's always a Great Mexican Place next to your hotel. Um, I'm a little concerned about Stroke here, honestly. A lot of the food decks are playing Stroke. It's pretty rare for a Simic deck to not have a 2-drop. Unless it's a growth spiral. Um, so I don't know if I want to just jam my questing beast here. Yeah, we're just going to play our pooner. Yeah, it's not a very... When you're when you're picking a token, there's like... You need to decide... Playability-wise, coolness factor, how's the art going to work. The mod art token's like coolness factor off the charts. Doesn't see play too often, though. Um, you know, like a food token would see a lot of play, but only in standard. Something like a goblin token, you know, it's pretty universal. Alright, so a little unexpected, they're just playing Golos. They just happen to draw Forest and Breeding Pool, which is kind of, kind of weird. Um, now you gotta be aware of Wrath Effects. I think we just slam Dragon here, though. If they have Wrath, we have Questing Beast post-combat, so... We'll just get in for a large amount and force them to have a Wrath. I mean, I already have a Goblin token courtesy of CoolStuffInc.com. Alright, so Golos is whatever. I, uh, they did. I guess they have blockers now, so no. Well, they might be dead to Questing Beast, right? Questing Beast plus Colossus if we draw a land. Oh, they have, they have Passage too? Jeez. Alright, we didn't draw a land. Um, Questing Beast is not bad. They would, we'll just, just jam Questing Beast till they die. We could also collision class four. Yeah, we're one short on Colossus plus Bone Crusher Giant. Just get them to a lower life total and kill them. Storm Count Token, good idea. That's a good one. So this has to be blocked by Golos. If they have a Wrath, we still have Questing Beast back up. So. If they had a rat, they, should, they probably would have cast it last turn, so... We'll see if they crack this land or not. Alright, so they, they don't have a wrath. Because they obviously wouldn't crack their fetch land and make a zombie. They're just going to blow it up, so... Do I think any modern card will be banned? Uh, Mox Opal is certainly getting there. I tweeted about two months ago that Mox Opal would not be legal in modern this time next year. And I think we're on pace for that. You can't keep printing Urzas and Emery's and expect Mox Opal to stay legal. It's very silly. That's a big Hydroid Crisis. Um, however, however, we drew a land. So now you can Questing Beast and Colossus and they're dead. Because there'll be a total of 12 power. Yep, that's exactly lethal. Perfect. So there'll be a total of 12 power that they can't... Oh, shit. Hold on. 
Time out. <laughs> Time out. Even though it's Questing Beast and not the Questing Beast, it is legendary. Ark, big host. Thanks, Ark. Appreciate that. Good save, Arena. Good save. Um, okay. So... Let's, uh... Let's move to combat here, I guess. Hmm. I guess that's fine, because they're going to block the beast probably anyway. This is... Fine. All right. So I guess we'll Colossus here and just deal six to them. Is that, is that better than Bone Crusher Giant to finish off the Krasis? Um. So we could save Colossus for requesting beast later. That sucks. We're one short. So this is eight, nine, ten. Um, what's up, Ark? Uh, we're currently 3-0 today, yeah? Even though we don't know Questing Beast is legendary. <laughs> oh my god, we got a honker! Wyatt, the word weaver, thanks for, for donating some money to, uh, to help, help out sick kids. Oh, we have collusion. I'm, I'm so dumb. Yeah, that's, that's a lot better. I forgot that card did that. Look at me, talking in chat, not paying attention. Um, I could have killed this and attacked. It's still not lethal, but yeah, I'm an idiot. That's really dumb. Alright, how do I fix this? Um, I mean, they kind of have to have another Wrath. Alright, this sucks, but whatever. We screwed up. We screwed up. I was so I was so locked in on casting the questing beast and just casting the Colossus for uh for lethal trample that I just I just forgot everything else existed. So Might be. Might be. I think we're still fine. Yeah, that the cove was pretty huge. I was so excited that Wyatt, the word weaver. Donated 15 bucks to Extra Life. That's much more important than anything else going on right now. Because we're raising money for sick kids. And that is important. Type an exclamation point goose in chat for uh, to, to donate. And uh, let's see. Uh, let's raise some money here. All right? So we're still one short. Um, yeah. I mean, questing Beast can get blocked by Questing Beast, which is kind of annoying. We're one short again of killing them. Can't use the ability because we didn't plus one plus one counter it. Um, I'm just going to block here. And then... Ugh. 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 Hmm. All right. That's a lot of questing beasts. That actually plays pretty well because now we just trade beasts and uh, get it for four in the air. They were the crazies were in trouble, but yeah. Where's that ember cleave at? Can we get some ember cleave energy in chat, please? Can we summon an ember cleave. This is, uh, 12 damage. It's fine. Summon the Ember Cleave. We summon the Ember Cleave. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Get a Wrath. We're probably in good shape here, right? Because they kind of... They have to deal with our Hellkite and the Questing Beasts and the Bone Crusher Giant. This might not might not need Ember, need Ember, Ember Cleave here.
There's your wrath. Um, why did they make a zombie and then wrath? Okay. Uh, don't want to use my mana to shock them. Yeah, I'm just going to shock them now. This way, like, if they do somehow stop my questing beast, we can just draw another bone crush giant and kill them. Oh, you're, but why not grow spiral first? I don't know, whatever. They're just dead, who cares? We have questing beast. I don't care how many zombies you have. I don't care nothing. Yep, 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 yep. You dead. The questing beast is here to finish the job. It's still Ember Cleave, though. It's still Ember Cleave. Alright. Uh, Golos A. I think we're basically pre sideboard pre -sideboarded for this matchup, so. Shouldn't need to board too much. Uh, in fact, I don't think we're boarding anything. Um. Yep. I think that uh, a lot of players basically pre-boarded for Golos for this Mythic Championship. And that's uh, it's a pretty good idea, honestly. Pretty good idea when it's 40% of the field. 40% of the field. What's up, Lane the Main? But yeah, as you saw, Goosey Gang, raising money for the kids. Check it out. Explanation point, Goose in chat to donate. Explanation point, uh, extra life for, 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 for full information on that. Yeah, we're going to keep. We got our Once Upon a Time. Hand's not great, but... Once Upon a Time. Yep. I think Reed, Duke, and them are all playing uh, Simic with four main deck strokes. I think it's genius. I expect them to do well at the Pro Tour. One of my uh, predictions. Predicament. Alright. Once Upon a Time. Pelt Collector. Nope. Questing Beast or Hellkite? Yeah, it's Questing Beast. Quest and Bizzle. Yes, I also think Ken Yuki Hero's deck is dope. I think Road Spiral again. How lucky. Uh, Alright, we're going to uh, Harpooner. Just a 3-2. It is what it is, you know. This could have haste later. Could like maybe make an argument that we should uh, play the goblin now and try and save this later to kill a to kill a uh, big crisis. But oh look who's up! Sorry, it's a fairy. That's rude. Might be a bad idea. Zibby. Hellkite, alright. Um, I guess we just Spellbreaker and kill Teferi. It's not great, but... We will meet again. Definitely a better start for them this game. Lay in the main! Getting honked at. Who doesn't want to help kids? Laying the main ten dollars for extra life. Love it. We're at seven hundred bucks already. That's great. Uh oh, don't route me. They have a route here, we're in trouble. Fay of Wishes? One four? I mean, my harpooner could kill that later on. Uh so they have five cards in it or four cards in end. They don't have a route. It's possible they have five drops. Um, hmm. We can do a few things here. We could like Zita Goblin. We can play Harpooner to deal with this three damage, so he can't block effectively. We can do that post-combat. Um, 
They know we have this though, so it's like it's like surprising. Definitely not questing beasting. That that's for later when the zombies are in play. I guess we just haste. We got a harpoon or two. I'd rather do a trample damage if possible. Once upon a time. Realm cloaked giant. Rude. Alright, so that's, that's, that's actually kind of fine. We killed their fey. They're going to Wrath. They're going to get a two-for-one off Wrath, which is fine. We have multiple Hasters in our hand. I think we're in good shape here. They put a Matching Land. That's awesome. Wrath is fine. Definitely the coolest animation on Arena. I don't think it's... <gasps> we drew Embercleave! We did it! We did it! We did it! Stupid Teferi. That makes Embercleave much more awkward. Alright, so now I guess we questing beast because we want to kill the Teferi and deal damage, so kinda sucks, but Hellkite flies over zombies anyway, so they both are similar in that respect. Um and Come on, the questing beast. Let's go. Really should have seen that coming. Also, if they go for uh, just to play a big seven-seven, we just we just ember cleave over, over them and kill them. Shock. It's a big crisis. I mean, ember cleave will kill them if they play a big crisis. So, love it. I think they're dead. I have not done the math, but I think they're dead. It should be exactly 10. Thanks to Embercleave. Synergy. I could have played the goblin, I guess. Whatever. Pants him up. Death touch. Deal one there. And nine upstairs. Emberkley, put your swords in chat. Four and O, oh. G G, easy. Hotly. This four and O oh run is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. CoolStuffInc.com, number one source for your game shopping needs. CoolStuffInc.com. Go buy your Embercleaves before they spike as the Pro Tour. Embercleaves, the real deal. Also, check out my articles, CoolStuffInc.com. My article goes up in about an hour and a half. My article, my preview, pro or predictions article for Mythic Championship 5. I make five predictions. Am I going to be right? Am I going to be wrong? I don't know. Check the articles. Uh, we're going to mulligan this hand. It's pretty bad. It's better. Ember Cleave. Come on, Arena, you can do it. I know you've been on for about an hour and ten minutes, but I know you can do it. A Boreal Grazer. Alright. This is Golos again. Ooh, we get, a, we get a combo with them big time. We have the Amber Cleave and the Collision Colossus. Teamer Battle Rage. What's up, Pixel? If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We are playing... Hmm. We could just Colossus and kill their Grazer and deal more damage. Or we could save it for Embercleave. If two things attack, this costs four... I'm going to save it. Um, 
Yeah, if you're tuning in, this is this is Javier Dominguez's gruel deck from the Pro Tour tomorrow. Alright, Securitas Route. Root route. Alright, I mean, we got stuff going on here. Um we have our combo, but we're a little light on attacking creatures. They have a Wrath, or are in big trouble, too. That's not bad. Um, hmm. Embercleave currently costs... It costs four two attackers. It's going to be hard to... Uh, hard to swing that. I think we're going to... They just block with the grazer. Ugh. I kind of want to save Hellkite for post Wrath. I think we're going to Spellbreaker. I think Field of the Dead will get banned. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, probably. Golos, tilt. Okay. Um, they make a lot of Zambies. We fire with the Hellkite. Yeah, I agree. If they had a Wrath... I mean, they, they want to cast Golos... They probably wouldn't wrath before a uh, swamp. Swamp. All right. Um. I mean, we shove in here. If they have a wrath. We're probably just in big trouble. So, give me haste or give me death. Next turn we can Embercleave Colossus. So, hopefully they feel like they don't have to wrath yet. If they have a Wrath. I suppose a, a huge Hydroid Crisis would also be a problem. Time Wipe also a problem. There's not much we can do about it, really. Our, our hands kind of dictated it. <gasps> Growth Spiral. Oh. I stole my stuff. My opinion on Rakdos Aristocrats? Eh, it's cool. The uh, one mana threaten is really good, but. It's so rude. What is shocking for? What costs two mana? That is red, green, and white. No idea. No idea. All right. Um, I mean, we've got the combo, but only eight double strike, and I don't think that matters. Maybe those be dumb and not block it. <laughs> nope. They're blocking. Nothing to see here, uh, just a little little attack, and no big deal. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. It's okay. Everything's okay. We're gonna be fine. Arena's not gonna be fine, because it's been on for an hour and a half, and Arena can't handle being on for an hour and a half. But, alright, that's fine. They had a good hand. Our hand was kind of stinky. Let's get him. I'm not going to show my Ember Cleaves 
even though the deck was for the Pro Tour Republic, it's pretty obvious we have them. Don't gotta remind him about it, you know? Ooh, yeah. Yep, Mythic Championship starts tomorrow. Tomorrow, 68 players, Arena. Hopefully Arena doesn't lag on camera like the like it's lagging right now. Hopefully the new Riot card game will uh, get Wizards to get off their asses and fix Arena because it's getting really bad lately. I've been complaining a lot about it, but frankly it's been pissing me off a lot. Um, the gameplay in Arena has been unacceptable. Arena is awesome. And it was so fast and so smooth, and in the last, like, five months, it's just gotten so slow. It's just really, really frustrating. What's up, Gust? From Brazil. Awesome. All right. Uh, let's go first. It plays. It's not great. It plays. I want to get this 5-0 run here, you know? Yeah, really poor time with the slowdown. Um, we're out of beta now. Throne of Eldraine is out. Mythic Championship. Like, you imagine if it goes this slow during the Mythic Championship? How bad that would look? Like, I just don't understand if I don't just throw a bunch of money at it and get it fixed, you know? Like. Thanks for following, everyone. Stomping ground. All right. I mean, our hand's not great, and they have a pretty good uh, turn one Arboreal Grazer draw, so Mythic Championship is Arena tomorrow. Yeah, I would not be surprised if they have everyone resetting every uh, uh, resetting uh, Arena between every game, or match, I mean. I mean, software development is hard. I, I get that. But just throw a bunch of money at it. You know, <laughs> like, just hire more programmers and just brute force it. Like, uh, all right. We could Questing Beast here, but that's just, like, not great. Let me get double haste the following turn. Yeah, let's just do it. I don't know why I played this. Shock land doesn't really matter. There are life totals basically relevant. Correct. Better programmers. Spend the money. Just hire an army of like 300 mediocre programmers. Uh, Alright. I mean, we're just... If we ship here, we could easily get wrathed. It sucks. Uh... We have a saying in software development, nine women can't make a baby in a month. Psst. I bet they could. I mean, the Zitta Goblin's like not even good. I guess we just swing. We probably just swing Bone Crusher, Bone Crusher. Bone Crusher also plays around the Giant Wrath. The thing is that the, the baby analogy doesn't play completely because, like, a pregnancy is just a period of time. You know, like, people working can work longer and harder. You know, or just, you know, like, uh, there's, I don't know, that analogy doesn't seem, doesn't seem perfect to me. Alright, what do you got for us? Please play the Giant Wrath and just die. Giant Wrath one time. The big hand comes down. And be pregnant harder. Swamp? Alright. Time wipe. Boo. Boo. And now we can't cast both of these? That sucks.
Uh, I do. I do not, Gust. There's a massively decreased return on investment when it comes to programmer time. I mean, you're telling me they couldn't just hire like the best team of programmers and have this thing up and running in like a week or two? Like, I, I'm obviously very naive, all right? I don't understand how programming works. Sure, I get it. But when Blizzard releases a product, it's super clean and nice and works great. And when WotC does, it doesn't, it's not that. So, what is it? You know? All right. Uh, this is not a great spot to be in. We're just going to ship, put him a two. Hearthstone client, very bad. I, mean, I haven't played Hearthstone. My history with Blizzard games is that they're always super clean and polished. Alright. Um, we could kill a Krasis, but it doesn't really kill them anyway. They're going to make zombies next turn, though? Yeah, we'll just say go. we got to draw Questing Beast or uh, Bone Crusher Giant or a Dragon, probably. Top three cards for free. Land, land. Beanstalk Giant. Yes, they... Wizards is spending a lot of money on paying YouTubers and sponsorships and things like that. It is a little weird that they, you know... You gotta get, you gotta get the program right first, it feels like, you know? Alright, well... Uh-oh. Alright, we're good. We can no longer win. The king has arrived. Our streak is over. We're going to go 4-1. Yeah. They get to untap and gain 15 life. We're dead. You win, King Kenrith. You win. Alright, so we only, we only went 4-1. Um, with, uh... With the Rakt with the Rakdos. With the Gruel deck. Obviously it sucks. Uh no, I think Javier's deck's very, very good. Um This is the deck that Javier Dominguez is playing in the Mythic Championship uh tomorrow. And I think it's just really solid. Um Embercleave is uh the real deal. We're playing more Embercleave today. Um Questing Beats is obviously great. You know, just nothing really too uh too complicated here. Just Smashy, smashy, monster, monster, rah, rah, you know? So, obviously the evasion on Hellkite's great. Questing Beast is great. Bone Crusher Giant is really... Can we, can we talk for a second about Bone Crusher Giant? This card is so good. Like, this card's insane. Just so good. Just like, two mana shock. It draws you a card, and the card is like a good creature. Like, Bone Crusher Giant is, like, almost playable by itself. You know, a 4-3 for 3 gets targeted 2 damage. That's, like, fine. And then just add a shock to it. It's just great. So, if you're looking for a, a pretty straightforward, powerful deck, uh, this deck's probably for you. Although, as I've been saying with all of these uh, Mythic Championship preview streams and videos, don't copy this deck card for a card. Um... This deck is definitely built for the smaller, condensed metagame of the Mythic Championship. Um, I think you want these Domri's Ambushes in your main deck. Probably want to cut like Harpooner, Harpooner, or Collision Colossus and play three main deck Domri's Ambush. Uh, just like the, the Simic Food deck was playing four main deck Strokes, probably don't want to do that in an open metagame. Uh, just be aware that this, this deck, oh, this deck list and all the deck lists from the Mythic, Mythic Championship are heavily skewed towards the metagame. And yeah, the mana base isn't great, but four Once Upon a Time and four Paradise, or three Paradise Druids certainly help. They certainly help. Two, two color mana is tough. It is pretty sick how the five color Golos Mishmash Tapland deck 
has a better mana base than our two color aggro deck. You know, that's green, no less, but that's the deal. So, Gruel Aggro seems sweet. Seems sweet. We got more decks to play, though. But you YouTube folks, look for those in a different video, right? Like, subscribe, comment, hit buttons, randomly put your finger down like this, like you're hitting buttons. Hit some keys on your keyboard. Hit the uh, the Y key. We like the Y key. Hit that key a few times. All right, YouTube folks, love you.